<clears throat> just when you think it's safe to go to sleep, you see some disturbing news on RT. Uh, looks like the um, <clears throat> Turks, because when, when, when I heard the, the Turks were intervening in Syria um, more forcefully, um, also known as, um, from their angle, getting rid of quote-unquote terrorists, the, the Kurds in northwest Syria, I thought that there would actually be a Turkish military presence on the ground. But apparently RT just showed videos of Turkish um, backed FSA members celebrating in Africa. Uh, as Erdogan announced that the city had been totally taken over. This is very bad news for the Syrian government, Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah because if the Turks aren't sending their military in and they're doing the same thing that the uh, Wahhabi monarchies of the Persian Gulf Lawrence Arabia and Company, also known as Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and um, Kuwait, you can add them to the list, and it used to be Qatar, but they've calmed down. But apparently, the same terrorists that, that these monarchies, these the disgusting monarchies backed, are now in power in Afrin. So, I'm guessing that the Turks provided air power while the terrorists are the actual boots on the ground. This is very bad news for Assad because the same thing's happening on the east bank of the Euphrates River and in Al Tanf, where the British just recently sent in 2,000 soldiers along with Challenger tanks into Al Tanf so that they can prevent land access between Syria and Iraq. And so they could also train and equip and protect terrorists. Because that's what it is. All this pretense of wanting to protect the, the um, democratic, quote-unquote democratic opposition. There's nothing democratic about, even if you take their statements about the FSA at face value, if you say, yeah, okay, the free, the, the quote-unquote free Syrian army just wants a democratic government in Syria. It's, that's not, number one, it's not true. But even if it was, the democracy would amount to the same thing that Egypt's short-lived democracy amounted to. It would be the Muslim Brotherhood at best. An actual Salafi terrorist, jihadist, with no democracy that works because once they vote themselves into power, all they're going to do is impose their version of Sharia law. And everyone knows Sharia law is not compatible with democracy or Republican government. And I mean, and I mean, uh, Republican in the uh, small r sense of a republic, a representative government. None of these things are compatible with uh, Sharia, at least their version of Sharia. One can also argue that Sharia law isn't compatible with modernity, but that's a whole nother video that hopefully we'll delve into that topic later. But this is really bad news for Assad. Another put up or shut up for Russia. Russia should either impose sanctions on Turkey again or just go ahead and bomb their forces in Afrin, because these guys are terrorists. They're not Turkish soldiers. So since they're not Turkish soldiers, they need to be eliminated. And the Syrian government needs to take back, back its territory. They can't do that east of the Euphrates or in Al Tanf because U.S. forces are there and the Republicans and the other um, the uh, people who want the second coming of Jesus are all counting on um, they're, they're itching for another war in the Middle East. They, they, you know, more properly known as Southwest Asia, the less imperialistic term. It's bad news, people. We, um, we have to hope that Russia puts up and, and does put some sort of pressure on Turkey to surrender this territory to the Syrian government 
Because now that the Kurds are out, um, let's hope that Bashar al-Assad, Hezbollah, Iranian militias, and they can even throw in some PMUs. The gloves need to come off and the Syrian government needs to be allowed to bomb. Now that the Kurds are gone, because that was the Turks' excuse. They didn't want the Kurds to establish a state in that region. Um, so they bombed the, the Kurds. Now that the Kurds are, are, are done, they don't control the territory, FSA terrorists need to be bombed because they are terrorists. I mean, just look at the video on RT. They don't look like a legitimate um, modern army. They look like Salafi jihadists. Uh, I'm going to conclude this video here. And um, it's, this is bad news. Um, even, even Israel could use these um, lemmings. They're like the putties from Power Rangers. They're just crash dummies for um, a greater evil. And we have to hope that um, somehow um, Assad and the um, Syrian army and their allies pull off another miracle by defeating these um, loons, or they'll be they'll be uh, in the West or or any anywhere where there's uh, actual innocent people uh, wreaking havoc. Uh, that's it for now.